and now we're back. Now for this part, now we'll have a look at some of the stuff you may have seen on the internet along with some other ways of showing how powerful these neodymium magnets are. What I'm going to do first, pull this over, and it's kind of hard to see. This is a side panel from a full tower computer case, and it's a few pounds, but it's nothing superbly that heavy. But I can take one of my neodymium magnets and it attracts right onto it in the center there. And shouldn't have any problem pulling it up. <laughs> no problem pulling up that panel. And it should still have plenty of magnetism. Quite frankly, all three pliers on the underside. <laughs> and they're holding on there fairly well. Not as strong as directly on the magnet, but it works. Yeah. yeah. Separating the magnet from one of these also takes a little bit of effort. It's pretty much easy for me to just slide the magnet off the case cover and try to pull it directly off. Got it re-sticking. Now let's bring over the second magnet to show some stuff together with two of these. So I've got my two magnets and they, they're showing some attraction. Let me just flip this one over. So now I've got opposing poles. So these magnets don't want to come together now. They are. When two magnets have the same poles facing each other, they repel each other. If you have a magnet, if you have magnets that have a po different poles, they will attract each other. So right now with the same poles, I mean, I'm pushing and pushing and I can't get these together. But if I bring this one up and bring my hand under, see now, <laughs> now the magnets are pulling together. You can't see the other one because my hand's covering it, but that one is being held up by the other. Let me pull that one off. You can keep it away. Show this a little better by turning this magnet back over and putting my hands like this. There. One there, one there. Now since the magnets are not that close together, they're not exerting a huge amount of force, but there is enough there to at least keep the magnets together from falling off. And I did get one of my fingers pinched between these two, but unfortunately I was wearing the glove, so I was able to slip my finger out from the glove when that happened. And so, yes, even though the size of these is deceiving, they do hurt when they come together. Now let's move on to something you may have seen. Okay, now we're going to do something that you may have seen on the internet it's usually done with nails, but I'm going to do these with screws instead or with bolts. And I'm going to not use a glove for this. i show how people do it. As you may have seen, I'm going to hold the magnet here, but I'm going to put my hand down and I'm going to try and zoom in here to get a better look at it. You've probably seen people doing something where they take a nail and they drop it on their hand. And as you can see, <laughs> I got a bolt on top of my hand. But also, as you notice, the bolt's kind of angled. If I move my hand, you'll notice the bolt moves too. 
what's happening is is the bolt is lining up with the magnetic field of the magnet this can be illustrated a little more if I put a couple more bolts on put a couple more bolts on my hand and as I move them they all shift in fact one of them is stuck to the other there so as I move my hand over the magnet they all align with the magnetic field now the reason like I say I'm doing this with bolts is because with nails with the tip on them I don't like having to have nails try to dig in through my hand to the magnet this can also be illustrated relatively easily on my little wooden block if I put that there I can do the same thing it's a little easier for me to do it this way because all I have to do is slide the block of course the bolts can scoot around lining up with the magnet Of course, they all went off to the side there. Now, since I've got a screw, a bolt like that, I'm going to show something else here. This one, I have to zoom in a little more for. I'm going to get all three of these off and leave that one there like it is. Uh, so now we pulled them off. Let's stack them up. There's two, there's three, and there's four. Now, I'm going to try pulling on the top one here, and it pulls right off. Now, here's the trick. I'm going to pull this one up, off the bottom. Now, I've got it pulled up from the magnet some, and now I'm going to go back and grab this one. Uh, okay, sorry. There we go. I'm gonna have to zoom out because it's. Let's see. Now. Let's see, all four bolts are staying together and they're all lining up with the magnet, magnetic field. I can try to bring it to it. So, it's trying to attract it, but magnetic field is coming out so far that it's able to magnetize all four bolts and it's strong enough to keep them all together without pulling the other three bolts off the one that I'm holding eventually if I bring it too close see now the, the pull becomes so strong it pulls it off of this but that's I think of course, even one of those little bolts has enough magnetic ability there to be able to hold a magnet to my hand. There's enough strength there. That's part two.